I did not know Timothy Dalton was motherfucking James Bond. <laughs> Shows goes to show you. What's up, y'all? Shalon Thomas here. Doing my second video on Penny Dreadful episode three. Now, episode three is basically a flashback episode with Vanessa Ives telling the werewolf guy how she knows about these witches and basically how she can do the shit that she can do. So it flashbacks to about seven years crammed in about 45 minutes of her going to see this witch that she knew about called the Cut Wife. Now, the reason why she's called the Cut Wife is because she gives 19 cents reabortions. Preferably at the charge of two eggs and a pile of dirt. So this eyes goes to this woman that's at the door. She can't pass through the door because apparently she has some type of spell written on a stone. So you can't pass through the door. So she stands out there for about four days because apparently this woman's an asshole. Comes outside. She limps. She actually looks like Meryl Streep from Into the Woods with no hair. She limps outside, puts an upside down cross on top of her face, and then she speaks the same language from Jabba the Hutt. And you can quote me on that shit. I swear, I watched Star Wars, I watched Jabba the Hutt speak, and I watched Penny Dreadful again. Somebody gonna get sued. Anyway, brings her into the house, tells her your mama's a witch, you a witch, and the devil wants to fuck you. There's nothing you can do about it. So, times passes, she basically teaches her how to read minds and... Honestly, that's it. Read minds and speak the damn devil's language. George Lucas is going to sue your ass. He don't play by this motherfucking Star Wars. So that happens. Then the three witches from the other two episodes, like the head bitch witch, the other weird, his weird sister that I think she has cunnilingus with, and the other sister that she stabbed in the chest and ripped her heart out. So they all three show up. Apparently they can't cross the border, but they're at the border talking shit. So the cut wife comes, and she limps her gnarly hands up, and she's like, leave my house, motherfuckers. And the other three are like, yo, devil wants his bitch. Give, me, give the devil his bitch back. And she's like, no, you can't get him. And then the, the hell bitch white witch just starts doing some shit. Really? I, they must have fucked. I mean, they, they didn't say she fucked, but I think they fucked because the way, man, she was looking like... Uh, uh, she was hyperventilating and she was just talking. She was like, come to me, sister. Remember our touch. Remember our kiss. And I was like, whoa. I think y'all had sex. Pretty sure y'all had sex. So anyway, Vanessa eyes run, says stop. They stop. She falls to the ground. <laughs> Gets back up and the girl tells her, yo, we coming back for that ass. And she was like, I don't give a fuck. Y'all can't cross this shit, bitch. So they leave, and the old cut wife lady, she does a couple of abortions with Vanessa Ives, and she was like, you know what, you good at this. You know what, you should do this shit for a living. Fuck that, um, what's her name? What's her name? Mina. That's her name. Fuck Mina. You should just stay here in my cabin and take eggs and dirt in exchange for abortions to women who don't want babies no more. And she's like, I want to do that. Sucks. I'm gonna save my save my lesbian slash sister. <laughs> so after all that happens, then they come back for the third time with a whole posse that apparently the elder witch, the old witch bitch, had whipped this nigga with a motherfucking Moriarty, not Moriarty, Mordecai. That's what the motherfucker. That movie sucks. Mordecai looking mustache. Is some dominatrix spell shit. So they go on the raid, bring the old cut wife out, throw blood on her. I don't know why they threw blood on her if it didn't set her on fire. I really don't understand the reason for the blood. You could have just set her ass on fire. I've never seen, and I've seen motherfucking The Conjuring. I've seen The Covenant. I've seen, what's that old ass, old ass witch movie? I've seen a whole bunch of, I've seen American Horror Story. I have never seen a motherfucker get blood thrown on him and then set on fire. Wouldn't the blood, like, stop the fire? Wouldn't, like, blood is not a fucking, or it's not gas. It's not going to make the fire go faster. Anyway, they set her on fire. They bram Vanessa eyes with an upside down cross. And basically, that's it. The three witches don't even show up. That was a waste of time. Why would you spend all this time trying to fucking find some somebody in the motherfucking... You up here, 
You spend almost the entire 40 minutes of this episode at this woman's door trying to get this girl. And then when the woman dies and she leaves the house that the fucking spell is on, you don't even go and get her. But I guess, fuck it, you got to make this shit drag on for a whole season. So I guess they was like, uh, we'll wait seven years, come back later. She'll forget all about us then. So then that's, that's the end. They don't even show another scene after that's literally like, she leaves and that's it. That's the whole story. Um, I still liked it. It still was all right. You know, it was really, it was kind of an unnecessary flashback to me. I think it it didn't need a whole episode to explain that. I think that could have been explained like gradually through the episode, especially when they already kind of touched on Vanessa I's flashback and why the devil really, because you already know that the devil wants you if you watch season one. You already know that they have the reason for their relationship or this to and fro with the devil. You already know why. So there's really no reason for you to have this little snippet of information between this little seven years. That could have easily just been like a flashback while the show was still going on. Anyway, it still was a good show. Uh, I enjoyed it. I'm really looking forward to season three. The preview for season three sucks because it, it showed absolutely nothing. It literally just showed Vanessa Ives on the floor growling like a dog. That was literally the whole preview. Like, n they showed nothing. They didn't show Frankenstein Jr. They didn't show the new f Bride of Frankenstein. They got made. They didn't show motherfucking Dorian Gray. They didn't show fucking James Bond. I'm calling him James Bond now. I'm Mr. Bond. They didn't show none of that shit. They literally just had the black guy sitting on the stairs and Vanessa Ives growling like a dog. That was the entire preview. But I'm still looking forward to episode three. Stay tuned for more. Comment description below. I mean, not comment description below. Like, comment. I'm out. Peace, love. All that good shit.